Hi there and welcome to this quick demo of the Simple Opt-in Pages plugin. So after you install the plugin, under Appearance, click Simple Opt-in Pages and that will bring you to the plugin. From here, you can click Create New Page. And I'll just show you how you can create a really simple opt-in page in a couple of minutes. So, Content Marketing Course. I'll, so I'll, I'll do one called Content Marketing Email Course. And you just put the name in and do Save Page. And this will actually give you a whole bunch of content automatically built in for you that you can modify. Um, so I might just, as an example, modify some of this text. So I've got some text here. It's got its own editor in here, which makes it a bit easier to really have a lot of control over how the text looks. So I'm going to make this look a fair bit different to what it looked like before. Um, okay, that's looking pretty good. That's what I want. So when you close something, it'll automatically be saved on the page. You don't need to go around um, saving it every time you, you make a change. But once you're ready with the page, you can then save it. So what I'll do is I'll save that really quickly just to show you the text change. And you can just do view page to preview it. I'll do it in a new tab so we can look at both at once. So you can see the changes made there. You can do the same thing with the image. So this is just using a simple upload. This image is already up there, but I'll put it up there again just so you can see the process of loading it. So this is the media manager. You can see that image of me is there and that's what I'll use, but I'll show you how you can just add them there anyway. All right, so I'll put that image in. And that's pretty much as I wanted. Center that. Again, you can just close it. Now these you can all drag drag around if you want to. With the opt-in, just paste your raw code from your email marketing provider, Aweber, Market, uh, MailChimp, Infusionsoft, or Entreport. I imagine this works with other providers, but they're the ones we've tested it with. It just gets the looks at the code and gets the form and then makes it into um, nice form fields and with placeholder text and um, using your call to action text there. And that's pretty much it. So with the opt-in, you can drag another opt-in to the page or you can use the one that's there um, or whatever works for you. So I'll just save that again. And I'll preview it over here. So this is live, ready to go. This is a new landing page. Um, you can shrink it down and you can see how it works for responsive. So that's how it's going to look on a mobile. It goes right down to the mobile screen size. So with the two column layout, it will just put that above the column on the right. The other thing you can do is add in the normal header or the normal footer that you've got built into WordPress. So if I put the header in there, you'll notice this page is just plain. Um, the, visitor wouldn't see this bar because that's just because I'm logged into WordPress. It would just be plain white. But if you include the normal standard WordPress header, it's going to bring that across from your site. So it'll include the menu and the logo. And same with the footer if you wanted to include that. I'll turn that off because I don't really want it. And the other thing you can do is change the column layout. So that's two column layout. You could potentially move them into a different order or you could just do away with... So that's putting that one on the right, but if you wanted to, you could just do away with the, the second column altogether and just do the one column layout. So let's just save that. So if you've got the one column layout, you can make that the size you want. Um, we'll just make that a bit bigger, make this a bit bigger. And then you can, again, just preview that. And that just goes into the one column view. So that's pretty much it. It's really simple. All your pages are listed in here. You just do create new page and you get the template that we've given you. Um, you can modify any aspect of these. You can drag and drop, move them around if that's what you want to do. You can drag more, more text areas to the page and add in the text and format it exactly how you want. You can add more columns. 
And that's it. So I hope you find it useful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to comment on the post and I'll talk to you soon.